Oh my god, that was such a bad idea. Why did I do that? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Erin and for today's video I am letting my subscribers choose where I eat and what I eat for the whole entire day So one of you had commented on my last video I don't want to call you out just because I don't know if you'd be okay with that or not but you had said that I should do like letting my viewers decide where I eat for the day and it got a lot of likes on it and I thought it was a great idea so that's what we're doing today before I get started with today's video I am currently doing a giveaway one of you will win a pair of Apple AirPod Pros but you must be subscribed to my channel and you must be following me on TikTok and Instagram in order to have a chance to win. So make sure you pause this video right now and go do that if you haven't already. This giveaway is just the beginning of many to come. So I had you guys take a vote on where you wanted me to go for breakfast and the winner is Chick-fil-A. A lot of you guys said the chicken biscuit and the hash brown scramble, so I got both. So I got the spicy chicken biscuit and I got the honey to go with it. Then I got the hash brown scramble. I got the bowl with chicken. I'm not really a big fan of sausage, so I didn't want to get that one, but it seems like everybody had said the chicken anyway. And then I guess that comes with the jalapeno salsa, so that sounds good. And then I got the meal, so we got hash browns. We got Chick-fil-A sauce and Polynesian sauce because you know those are my favorite. Okay, what to try first? Let's try the spicy chicken biscuit with honey. That sounds really good. Wait, did I get a fork? Oh no. Guys, we have a really big dilemma. I didn't get a fork for my bowl. I hope if I do some digging in my glove compartment, I have a fork in there. If not, we'll just have to, <laughs> we'll figure it out when we get there. But this is the biscuit. Is it just me or does, does it look a little squished? <laughs> Smells really good though. And I love biscuits. And then we'll put some honey on it. So a lot of you said the spicy chicken biscuit, but a lot of you said the regular chicken biscuit, but you all said with honey. So I figured the spicy would probably be like so good with the honey because I love like that sweet and spicy combo. Okay, let's take a bite. That is so good. This biscuit is like so flaky. I had no idea Chick-fil-A had such good biscuits. Oh my gosh, I could literally eat this on its own. And then the sweetness from the honey and the spiciness from the chicken. Wow, this is amazing. Ten out of ten for this one for sure. For all of you that recommended this, thank you because now I have a new favorite. <laughs> okay, let's try these hash browns. Really in a dilemma on what I'm gonna do about the hash brown. <laughs> The hash brown scramble. Okay. Did you guys see that? I really want to try the hash browns with the Chick-fil-A sauce. Mm. Okay, that's actually really good together. I feel like the flavor of the Chick-fil-A sauce really changes depending on what you're pairing it with. Mm. 
with the hash browns i'd honestly give it a 10 out of 10 um i love these shaped hash browns because they're all just so crispy i will admit though duncan has my absolute favorite hash browns out of anywhere i don't know why they're just like so flavorful but these with the chick-fil-a sauce also really good dilemma time <laughs> do i have a fork in my glove compartment i have a fork okay we're good <laughs> hash brown scramble so what is this eggs cheese and chicken and then i feel like this needs some flavor i'm not a fan of ketchup with eggs but this came with jalapeno salsa so let's try it like that I wonder if this would be good with the Chick-fil-A sauce. Maybe I'll just put it on half of it. Ooh, that's like chunky. Hmm. Oh, that smells spicy. Ooh. Oh. Maybe that was a bad idea. Maybe I should have tasted this first. It smells like something that belongs in a taco. All right, well, we're just gonna have to do it because it's already, it's already been done. Get a bite of everything. Okay, let's give it a bite. I don't like that. Let's try it with this. Okay. That definitely tastes a little bit better. So let's put this on it. We are just totally experimenting today. <laughs> let's get another bite with the chicken, the egg, and the hash brown. I feel like the hash browns are hard to get out of this. Okay. Come on. There we go. That is pretty good. Okay, well, you guys definitely did good for that one. Chick-fil-A breakfast, you cannot go wrong. And that spicy chicken biscuit with honey, perfection. I am full, so I will see you guys soon for lunch. I am back for lunch and I am at White Castle. So not gonna lie, I was not expecting White Castle to win. Like I thought no shot. But then I realized that there's only White Castle in New Jersey and New York. I had no idea. I don't know why, but I thought it was like countrywide or more spread out than what it is. Um, so y'all voted for White Castle. <laughs> So you can see what it is so i got chicken rings because one of you said to and not gonna lie i honestly thought like you were like joking with me when you said chicken rings i thought like maybe you meant onion rings or something i thought i was gonna order chicken rings and look like a fool but they actually are a thing and then I got two of their 1921 sliders. So if you don't know, White Castle basically just has a bunch of sliders and different variations of sliders on their menu. I don't think they have any like actual sized burgers or sandwiches or anything. Everything is like slider sized. So this is what they look like. Their traditional sliders are pretty cheap. It's like four for $10 with a meal but it's just like a piece of meat and cheese and then the, the bun. And the 1921 slider sounded really good. Cause they basically have like all the fixings on them, but I don't think there's ketchup on it. So that kind of stinks. Yeah, no, there's no ketchup. I should have asked, but it is what it is. It is grilled onions the slider patty, cheese, pickles, tomatoes, lettuce, and I think that is it. So let's give it a bite. The one thing that always bothers me about White Castle though, is that their bun is always soggy. Probably cause they put like 
they have the grilled onions directly against it. I feel like that's silly, but the flavor of it is pretty good. I think I like their regular sliders better. I don't know, something about them, maybe it's the grilled onions, it's kind of like slimy. Um, I'm gonna save the other one for Orlando, maybe he'll want that. <laughs> Let's try the chicken rings though. So you said chicken rings and honey mustard, so that is what I got. These are good. They taste like Burger King's chicken fries. So if you don't have a White Castle, but you have a Burger King, they're like the same thing. Okay, yeah, I like these way more than the slider. I definitely prefer a burger at like McDonald's over White Castle sliders. But these chicken fries are way better than I was, chicken fries, these chicken rings are way better than I was expecting. Overall, I'd probably give White Castle a 6.5 slider the the slider that I got I really don't like that much it's like the flavor is good but then at the same time like I think it's the grilled onions it made it like slimy which was kind of gross the regular sliders if you've never been to a white castle and you don't have one near you they're like very simple and I don't really think there's anything special about them either, which is why I wanted to try this one. But it was like gonna be, you know, a gourmet slider, which kind of was, but I feel like the execution isn't totally there. So yeah, if you're, if you've never been to a White Castle and you're jealous that I have one, truthfully, I don't really think that you're totally missing out, but I will say the chicken rings were pretty tasty. But if you have a Burger King, you get the chicken fries and they taste very similar to each other. Okay, it is dinner time and I asked and you guys voted and the winner was Buffalo Wild Wings. So that is where we're at. So I went with boneless wings. I'm still kind of scarred from wing stops bone in. Like, I don't know why, but ever since then I've not wanted any part of bone and wings. So we got boneless today and I really love the way they package this. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, so I got four different sauces. I got, wait, I had it labeled somewhere. I just saw it. Oh, okay, so honey barbecue, orange chicken, mango habanero which I know is gonna be so spicy but I had wing stops and I really want to compare the two and then this one I forgot what it's called um let's see sauce gardener sauce sauce <laughs> so I have no idea what that is or what that means but it says it's a fan favorite so we're gonna find out if it really is a fan favorite today <laughs> I got plenty of forks, so <laughs> they're all gonna go in my glove compartment. We'll never have a fork fiasco again. Okay, let's try the sauce gardener <laughs> sauce sauce one first. What does it smell like? Honestly, I literally have no idea. Okay. Should we dip it? I feel like I'm gonna. I'm gonna dip it in the ranch just because I don't know if it's gonna be spicy or not. Let's try it. Okay. 
It has a little bit of a kick, but like not too bad of one. It tastes like kind of salty. Okay. Sauce Gardener Sauce Sauce. Okay, I'm an idiot. So it's named after Sauce Gardener. Makes a lot of sense. <laughs> it's smoky, sweet, and spicy barbecue. Okay. I do get that, but I don't at the same time. I it's spicy. Not too spicy though. I it's not sweet to me at least it's not sweet it's like salty it's like a spicy salty barbecue sauce <laughs> honestly I just prefer regular barbecue sauce but maybe I'm just crazy I don't know let's do the orange chicken I love like orange chicken from um like Chinese places. So let's see how this compares. Okay, not really orangey, but I do get that sweet, um, the sweetness and like the fruitiness kind of. It is good. I actually like this one better though. Sauce Gardner Sauce Sauce. I'd probably rate this one maybe like a seven. I'd say this one is, hmm, maybe a six. I know some of you said to get garlic Parmesan and I had every intention to, but I really wanted the orange chicken, try this one since it said fan favorite and the mango habanero to compare it against swing stop. So I was gonna get it as the fourth wing, but then I was like, I need to get Orlando dinner and he loves honey barbecue. So that's why I got the honey barbecue. And then I texted him and I was like, oh, I'm an idiot. Like four sauces times 20 wings is five each. And I'm gonna eat at least one. Like hopefully you <laughs> like the other flavors too. And then he's like, why'd you get boneless? It's Tuesday, bone in wings are half priced off. I'm like, cause I didn't want bone in wings. But that's what he was looking forward to. So then I went and got him bone in wings. And at that point, I had already placed this order, so it was too late to change the honey barbecue to the garlic parmesan. Um, so I'll, I will try them, I'll try them at some point, but today we're trying the honey barbecue because I messed up. Okay, I don't know why I'm like eating these so weird off the fork, but we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> Their honey barbecue has really good flavor. I do prefer the regular honey barbecue over this one, but if you're somebody that, that really likes spicy, you'd probably really like this one. Okay. The last and final wing of the day is mango habanero. It is a three out of four flame, so it's probably pretty spicy. Let's give it a bite. Oh yeah. Oh, it has like, at first it doesn't really taste spicy. And then when you swallow it, <coughs> oh my God. <gasps> Oh, that is way, way, way spicier than wing stops. Holy. I feel like there's fire coming out of my mouth right now. Oh my God, that was such a bad idea. Why did I do that? Okay, I don't think there's mango habanero. I think there's just habanero. I think on that note, <coughs> I'm done with the wings. Why am I so pathetic? What is wrong with me? Why can't I just eat spicy things and be fine? Bro, I literally was like, oh, it's fine. Mango habanero, three flames. I'm sure it's not that spicy. No, I'm an idiot. 
they're way too <laughs> spicy for me. Um, so kudos to you if you can eat them and enjoy them because I cannot. Okay, well on that note, I'm going to wrap this video up here. I hope you liked being a little more like involved in the video. If you want me to do more like this more often, I absolutely will. I think it was a lot of fun to see where you guys want to see me go and then to order the foods that you guys like to order. I feel like it helps me get to know you a little bit more, but also I feel like it's more like personable if that makes sense. So hopefully you guys feel the same way. Um, don't forget the giveaway is still going on. We are going to keep on going until I hit 3000 subscribers. So I'm a little less than a thousand away. So I feel like that's not really that far. We could totally get there in a couple of weeks. So the sooner you guys subscribe, the sooner I will be giving away a pair of Apple AirPod Pros. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, please make sure you give it a big thumbs up, subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you never miss a video. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys.